So this is the 2015 Burton Landlord. This is an all-mountain backcountry freeride board. Um, so it's got a directional tapered shape. That means the nose is slightly wider than the tail is. Gives you a bit of a better surface area, improved floating powder, that kind of thing. It's got a medium flex and it's got Burton's S rocker. So that's rocker in the nose that extends under the front foot with camber between your feet. Um, so it's basically a slightly back seated camber profile. Um, that gives you incredible float and stability in all conditions. If you're in, if you're in like waist deep powder, it just floats right above it. It's got Burton's sintered WFO base, which is wide open pores um, to absorb the wax, which is super fast and really highly durable. The graphics on the Landlord are looking amazing. I mean, it's one of the best looking boards in the Burton range, definitely. Um, it's got a dual zone EGD construction. So during the construction of the board, wood is laid perpendicular to the core at the heel and the toe edge. What that does is it enhances edge grip and adds strength to the board and makes it a bit more durable as well. The Landlord's also got Burton's frostbite edges, so at the bindings the edge extends out slightly. What that does is it gives you enhanced edge hold on hard pack and icy conditions, just makes it a lot more stable and smooth. It's got 45 degree carbon highlights, which you can actually see here in the, uh, the translucent bit of the top sheet, it's these black lines. Um, so that goes all the way through the board from the tip to the tail. It reduces the overall weight of the board, gives it a more powerful and torsionally responsive ride. Uh, for in terms of ability, this would be an advanced to pro level board. It's not going to be good for beginners, and it's definitely not a good freestyle board. But if you're looking to rip the backcountry and um, free ride, absolutely fantastic board. I'm tough with myself. I'm tough with myself. I'm tough with myself.